Hey guys, welcome back to Tim's Electronics Lab and today we're going to play around with load cells. Uh, so, let's get started straight away. Uh, I've got 8 load cells but I'll only be uh, connecting 4 today. Uh, yeah, I need to do a little research on how to connect 8 and still be able to properly um, measure new weight. Uh, I'm going to use an op amp for this. Uh, I've never actually used one. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Bear with me. Because uh, I don't think that this will succeed in one go. But hey, who knows, right? I've got my oscilloscope uh, uh, within uh, hand reach. So yeah. Right, so let's connect the power. So VCC. That's the yellow one connects to the plus rails over here. And VCC minus, that should be the ground. And if I blow this one up, I've got uh, a butt metric ton load shit of them. I don't know what that was, but hey, I've got uh, a few more of them. They are coming out of my old amplifier. So yeah. That uh, that shouldn't be the problem. All right, so um, let me check. So load cell one. Uh, the schematic of the load cell was well, schematic, schematic. It's a picture with the uh, load cells and the uh, configurations. So, but the thing is that they are using. Uh, white, red and black wires and I'm uh, using blue, red and green ones but that shouldn't matter very much. The only thing I'm concerned about is that uh, the contacts might not be able to make a good connection. Oh no, yeah that's good. They're plugging right in so that's good. So first one. So this goes into the in plus that is this pin oh if we can do it that is this pin is no 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 that it wasn't in it look like this this pin ah all right, it isn't uh, willing to go in there. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. And now the green or actually black wire should go to the ground like that. So that's load sound number one now load sound number two that's this uh, this one um, the blue wire once again has to go to the VCC or the 5 volts line the, the red wire needs to go to the uh, other red wire, the sense plus or VCC or no, or uh, in in positive, and I think I'm going to fire up my solar station to make sure. No, 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 I don't. All right. So, and this one, of course, needs to go to the ground. So, let's connect that one too. And that should be grounded now. So, let's connect this one. So, this is a little different. This is actually kind of reversed. So, the uh, blue wire for the first two load cell sensors connect to the positive reel 
and blue wire for the last two connect to the ground rail. So yeah, let's connect it to the ground. Like that. The red wire connects to uh, sense minus or in minus, and that is this pin. And the green wire connects to VCC, if I'm, yeah, connects to VCC. So, now for the last uh, load cell, the same uh, connection procedures apply. So, blue to ground. Red, let me get the red wire, red to in minus, and green to VCC, oh, the blue wire can use. Like that. Like that. So, all right, we've got an uh, op amp connected here, but it's doing nothing yet. Uh, let me get some uh, headers or some jumper cables to connect the uh, rails to the Arduino and. Uh, we will power on the scope in order to view the output. So let's connect my oscilloscope to the VCC minus for the ground reference and the output, which is pin one. For yeah, as you might be able to guess, for the output. I hope I can get it under there, but I don't. Oh, yeah, 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 there it goes. That's better. So, the good thing is that the uh, Arduino uh, doesn't need to contain a sketch. We just need the raw power of the Arduino, if it has any. No, just kidding. So, there you go, the Arduino is connected. So I know a little more about uh, these load cells right now. Uh, let me get number one. So, uh, it should be mounted uh, like this, flat, with this flat. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do that with this, but yeah. And the uh, load should be placed on this uh, bump. So, if I press this, nothing happens, of course. Mm. What if I move it with my screwdriver? Oh. Yeah, 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 something is happening. Something is happening. Wait, let me get the uh, oscilloscope part in shot. So as you can see over here, we've now got a ST def of uh, 28.28. And I don't know why it's moving that much right now because nothing's happening um, but when i put my screwdriver under it and uh, pull it up it increases as you can see i'm putting another force on right now and when i let go 
and drops. And when I put some force on it, it rises, and when I get, let go, it drops. So I think that is um, a sign of life. So let's uh, switch this to channel one. So the ST def is varying, varying a lot. Let's put the Sims wire back in its position, which is over here. So. Like that. Let's put some force on it again. Mm, yes. I'm not sure why. Where is the yellow one actually? It's minus. There you go. There it is. The yellow one is at zero volts, and the yellow one is the output of the op amp. So let me zoom in. And try to... No. No, no, no. Nothing's happening. That's really strange. Nothing is happening. And I don't like that. It looks like I've got to order the uh, load cell weight chip. From Banggood as well. Because nothing is happening really. And uh, yeah. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Let's see what happens if I connect the second channel again and increase its resolution too. So connect the uh, first load cell. This one. This mangle and connect it back to the scope. Like that. So now, um, if you're able to see the voltage, oh, where did it go? It's about actually, two and a half volts. All right, so we're gonna now put some tension on it. And let me switch this back to channel two, the measure source, channel two. As you can see, the peak to peak value over here is changing as well when I put some pressure on the cell. Look, it's dropping down to 84. No, it's dropping down to 48. And the ST def is varying a little. But not very much, actually. So yeah, I think I'll need to order the load cell amplifier as well. And yeah, hope that uh, that will fix the uh, this problem that we have. So, so thanks for watching, uh, guys. 
and I will keep you updated with the uh, load cell amplifier chip uh, so that we can finish this project and I can use this in my own project. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I've got uh, various other videos uh, regarding uh, an FPGA video that's coming up very soon. Uh, post bag items, uh, 3D printed uh, things, 3D printer stuff, uh, soldering. So if you like those kind of videos, please feel free to, uh, to subscribe. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.